All right, guys, so today we're going to focus on a variety of upper back stretches. So this is going to hit that um, thoracic area of the spine that tends to get tight from just having poor posture and being hunched over too much. So one of the first stretches that I like to get into is nice and gentle, and um, it doesn't put too much load on the spine. So I'm going to use a set of uh, rings here. And if you don't have a set of rings, you can use a bar set up in a power rack or um, you know, a railing or something like that. So I'm gonna hold on to the rings. First, the first part of this I'm gonna do on my own. So arm straight, I'm gonna bridge up, arch back here. And what I'm gonna do with my hands, I'm gonna use my arms to pull my hands towards my hips and what that's gonna do is increase the arch there. So I can stay in this stretch a bit, breathe and try to increase my range there. Okay, so for some of you that might be a really nice stretch um, just on a zone like that. Now, if you wanna get a little bit more assistance into it, what we're gonna do is use this strap here. All right, so this is gonna come around my upper back okay so i'm gonna lay that you can grab onto those so yeah you want to grab the strap vicky wants to grab it so her hands are close to my body which means she has a little better leverage just to use her body weight to get into it deeper so i'm going to bridge up the same way i just did She's gonna put her knees or shins on the front of my shoulders. I'm gonna bridge up and then she's gonna push forward with the knees and shins, lean back to pull with the strap to increase that, um, that arching in the mid back or the upper back. Yep, keep going, keep going. So again, pushing forward with the knees, leaning back to pull on the strap. See if we can get a little more. There we go. And this is a good way to build up into that, that full back bridge or wheel position in yoga um, while not putting any load on the arms yet. All right. Okay, so that variation works well for me. Um, just doing a little experimenting before we started filming, found that for Vicky, that wasn't the ideal one. So we'll show a different variation, uh, for her. All right. So for this variation, um, we're going to use a bar to help, um, assist with the stretch, any kind of bar, broomstick or whatever. So you're going to grab onto this, lay flat down on your stomach there. So now the important thing with this is you don't want to just pull back, okay? That's going to be uncomfortable on the shoulders and the back. What you want to do is lengthen out and gradually bring your, your stretching partner back. All right, so I'm picking up slowly, lengthening out first, then I'm pulling back. I'm squeezing in, shins right below the shoulder blades. And I'm gradually adding some pressure forward. At the same time, keeping the pull on the bar. How's that? Mm-hmm, that's good. That's enough? Mm-hmm. Okay. So once that's enough there, so you can just do some breaths in that position. And now, now that I have kind of the set position that she's comfortable with, I can kind of maintain my knees where they're at and straighten up. So I'm not using so much energy to pull up. You can use the traps a little bit to pull up on the bar. So let's get it one more big breath in. And then on the exhale, I push in with my shins a little bit more. How's that? That's good. You can do a little twist for me. Okay, we can do a little oh, yeah. twist left and right.
and then do Ooh. left and right here as well. That's tight. So I'm leaning side to side. To emphasize one arm and then the other. And so the reason that we're doing this stretch here for Vicky is basically because of the height difference. It's much harder for her to do this one on me because she's shorter relative to my height. So sometimes when you're working with a partner, you gotta try different variations um, depending on what works for you guys' leverages and also what areas are the tightest. All right, this stretch is um, basically an assisted downward dog type stretch. Uh, for some of you, it might be a piece of cake, but um, for me, there's some tightness in, in the hamstring and calves that need to be worked out. And additionally, the way Vicky's gonna assist me on this one is gonna help with that thoracic area of the spine as well. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna set up here close to the wall. And if, um, if you guys are a little bit more equal in weight, you may not need to use the wall. But if not, then the wall allows Vicky to get some extra uh, pressure down onto my back. So I want to focus on sitting basically on this general area of the mid back. And the closer that he's onto the wall, the easier it is for me to push. So I will be able to sit here and then get in place. It's better for me, at least, if I hold on to his hips to make sure that I don't fall and then lay it down. And basically, I'm going to curve my back and push off as if I'm doing a leg press. How does that feel, Hagen? That's pretty good. Definitely feel a lot of the stretch in the calves right now, but the upper back is opening up a little bit. I'm going to slide my hands forward a bit. So right now I'm doing very little push, but if you wanted to do more, the more I press with my legs. And yeah, you can give me a little bit more backwards. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Just a little swivel. All right, so that's the idea there. And then come off very slowly. Okay. Whew. That's a good one, yeah. That is a good one. Okay, now this is an example of another stretch that works well if I am taller than my partner here. Uh, so this one is going to help open up the, the shoulders and chest, <clears throat> excuse me, and biceps a little bit. Um, so go ahead, face away from me. So for this one, um, there's a lot of different little small variations that we can work through. So initially, I'm going to place the ball of my foot right towards the bottom edge of the shoulder blades there. Okay, have my, my lower one right underneath that. So you can just lean back. You want the partner to just rest back, totally relaxed, not keeping any tension through the spine. So bring the elbows back a little bit. Initially, I'm going to grab around the elbows, not the hands, because that, in my opinion, allows you to work into this a little bit easier. Okay, and you avoid any excessive pressure on the elbows. So initially, I'm just going to lean back. Let me know when that's good. You can keep going. Yeah, right there. So initially, I'm just bringing the elbows back, so that's extending the shoulders. Now, once I find a, a start position there, you can progress in a few different ways. You can try to bring the elbows closer to each other. Mm. Uh, let me know. Mm, keep going. There you go. And at the same time, I want to make sure that I'm not rounding my shoulders forward, but keeping them open back. Yeah. I mean, if I'm doing my job correctly, I should kind of be able to spot that. I can add a little rotation on the arms. Ooh, that feels good. So I'm externally rotating the arms here. Just a small movement. A lot of times it makes the stretch 
more comfortable for the shoulders when you come into that external rotation. Then I can start to come into extension a little bit more. Okay, so now I'll sit back up again. Now what I can do, start moving down to the forearms. Now this is gonna involve a lot more stretching through the forearm area, so it might change the emphasis completely. So let's start with the hands pronated. See how that feels. Again, you can come back into extension. You can bring the hands towards each other. Get my knees out of the way. Oof, that left forearm is so tight for me. You can even try doing some flexion and extension with the hands. Yep. Good. Now, just for the sake of time, I'll show you some other versions. But again, you can stay in these stretches as long as you feel like you're continuing to open up. Oof. Now we can rotate. You can supinate the hands here. Yep. So where do you feel that stretch now? Right now I feel at the back of my hand and towards the forearm on that same area. But earlier when you were rotating, so about right here is where it's tightest for me. Okay. Big breath in, exhale, or add a little more pressure with my foot. See if I can squeeze and bring the hands in closer. So you see a lot of different angles you can work with, with the, the wrists and elbows and forearms. So um, just find out where you're the tightest and uh, spend more time there. After we've gone through those series of stretches, I like to finish off with a, a solo um, back bridge, or I think it's known in yoga as the wheel position, just to kind of assess where, where I'm feeling the tightness um, after doing that loosening up. Um, a lot of times it's also a good idea to, if you like to do that position before you get into the stretches and then reassess at the end um, so you can compare. So what I do is lay back. For me, since my forearms, my wrists are tight, I'll use this little modification to help me get into it to prop my head up. Then I adjust my hands, press. Trying to lock out the elbows and move my chest towards the hands. Whew. All right, so that doesn't feel too bad. Uh, be careful not to hold your breath too much because you can't black out. So watch out for that. Why don't you give it a shot? All right, so I don't really have that wrist tightness that you do, so. Yeah, because one thing in this stretch that we didn't really address in today's stretching session is the hip flexors, because sometimes the hip flexors can inhibit this one. And you can see, so there's a little bit of bend in the elbows. Try to really squeeze those triceps, yeah? Woo! And see if you can move the, hand, the chest towards the hands. There you go. And so what Vicky can do next time is maybe work on getting the hands a little bit closer to each other, narrowing that grip. But um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of modifications you can do with this. If you can't take the pressure on the wrist right now, you can hold on to some handles or dumbbells um, or handstand blocks, something like that to ease that pressure. But um, yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this session um, and, it, and it provided some helpful stretches to help address that upper back tightness. Um, as always, feel free to give us some feedback. Any questions or comments you have, feel free to leave them 
in that uh, comment section. Make sure you subscribe so you get our future updates. And um, see you next time. Yep. Yeah, see you next time.